Hey, what's up, Kazis? It's Kiwi here, and we're back for another top five for Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. So, we're on to Jin now. So, let's quit uh, mucking around and let's get into it, eh? Number five. Okay, so. Xiaohu Ba is here just because he has a great R1 attack which makes him relentless. So how this works is you just hit your R1 button and he does a little combo and once he's finished his attack speed will rise by a lot. Which is gonna make it a lot easier for us to get to our X attack which is attached to our third string attack. And this is what's going to make it possible for us to create a loop and just do these two combos over and over again. So you start off with your R1 attack, you go to your X attack, then you go to your R1 attack, then you go to your X attack, and you just do this over and over and over again without stopping. Now remember this uh, combo won't be possible without osmosis because it's osmosis that gives you back the Musu on your third string and your X attacks. So as long as you have that, you'll be fine. Anyway, moving along, number four. Okay, so this spot belongs to Simisau, and the reason we have him here is because he has a great R1 attack, as well as a great passive ability, which gives you Musu back for every 100 kills. Which makes it easier for him to take out large groups of enemies that have multiple officers in them because let's be honest that's usually when most people will die when they're being surrounded by six to seven different fucking officers because anything around three to four it's reasonably easy it's just when you start getting the big numbers that you need to start worrying. But with Semisau you don't really need to worry about that just keep spamming that aerial R1 attack and that will usually get you to 100 kills before your Musu runs out. But if it looks like you're about to run out and you feel like you're not going to be able to pull off many more R1 attacks, just hit them with your third string and that's enough to fill your Musu back up to full and you'll definitely be able to push yourself to 100 kills. Also, if you're doing the strategy, try and hit as many officers as you can with that aerial special. Don't just kind of do it willy-nilly, otherwise you're going to wind up by running out of uh, peons and it's going to make it harder to sustain that aerial attack. Anyway, moving along, number three. Okay, so our next spot belongs to Zhong Hui, and he's here just because he's nice, easy to use, and he's quite reliable when it comes to taking out large groups of officers and peons. And the reason I think it's so easy for him to take out large groups is because he has a great X attack which is attached to the very first charge attack you, you can do, and that's just by pressing triangle, and then you press triangle again to get his X attack which does a decent amount of damage and can refill your health and your Musu up quite a lot which makes it nice and easy to get off Musu attacks so that's why he's here simple easy to use and very effective so moving along number two okay so now this spot belongs to the very beautiful Wang Yuanji and the reason I have her here is because she's another character that's extremely easy to use. Now if you follow the same build that I have for her, you can just tear everybody to shreds with just spamming square. You can also use her charge attack on the 5th string if you want to get uh, more Musu back or more health back. But honestly, you usually won't need to unless you're accidentally clipped or shit hits the fan and you need to use a Musu attack. But, honestly, Square's actually good enough. It's even really good against large groups. So yeah, moving along, number one. Okay, so Zugadan is here just because he has an amazing R1 attack. It's a great offense and a great defense both at the same time. So let's explain why. Well, basically he just creates a wind tunnel or a tornado or something it just goes around him and it makes it impossible for normal melee attacks to hit you unless of course they're musu related like specials or musu attacks and this is great because now you can just spam your 
second and third string attacks to regain Musu and then recast the tornado or you can use your second or third string attack to cast a Musu then after the Musu recast your special and rinse and repeat. So yeah this is the end of my uh, top 5 for Jin. I hope you've enjoyed it, if you did that's awesome, if you didn't that's just too bad and yeah. Also, if you have your own top 5, put it in the comments below, tell me what you think of this top 5 and um, who you think should have been in here from Jin. I'd like to hear all you guys' opinions on this, so yeah, put it in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.